Hey guys, Julian Lalo here and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I want to share with you guys how I pose a male model for a photo shoot. Now these tips or poses can be used for both portrait and fashion photography. It then depends on things like your camera setting and composition as to your final result. So before I jump into the five poses that I'm going to share with you guys, I want to talk to you about something that runs through each of these poses and that is what to do with your model's hands. Particularly if you're working with a less experienced model, hands can be something that come across really awkward in an image. So there's a few little hacks that I use to help my models really relax and give them something to do with their hands without thinking about it. And the first of these is just basically rubbing their hands together. Just keep moving them and it'll give you this really nice natural result. Secondly, they can be playing with a ring. If they're not wearing one, they can just fake it. Playing with rings works really well. A watch or even the cuffs on a sleeve. And lastly, using the garments to keep the hands busy. Putting a hand in a pocket, playing with a zipper, or even flicking a coat back. These are all things that are really nice and natural that can help take the focus and mind off the hands and onto posing. Going into the first of the poses, something that I use at the start of every shoot because I feel it relaxes everybody, the model and myself, is just getting them to walk. Walk really naturally, not slowing it down for me, walking at their own pace, swinging their arms, using the hand techniques if they need to, walking towards the camera and walking diagonally across the camera. Now, without slowing it down and getting them to walk at their own pace, it means I need to fire off more shots. But what I find is, when I do nail those couple of frames throughout a walk, and you may need to get them to do it a few times, when you nail those couple of shots, they come across really natural and relaxed and you get a far better end result. Walking is also a really great way of showing off the rear of a male garment. Men can look really weird standing back to a camera trying to get a back view of a garment. So getting them to walk away from you is a really nice natural way of showing off that garment perspective. Moving into the next pose is another one that keeps the model really nice and relaxed and comfortable and that is getting them to lean. Lean on a wall, on a pole, whatever you have access to on location. My direction is usually to just get them to lean back into it nice and relaxed put one foot up on the wall and then I fine tune the pose from there. But I find getting them to lean into it as comfortable as they would be normally leaning into a wall comes through in the image. They look more comfortable and it looks less posed. Throughout all these poses, I then get them to look obviously away from the camera into the camera over the top of me and through the camera. From the wall, we then go into the next pose, which may sound like a really simple one, but is often the one that comes across the most awkward, and that is just standing. Standing with nothing around them, kind of almost in the middle of nowhere. So a few of my tips to make this look more natural is keep your weight even so that the shoulders remain nice and square. You don't want to create too much of a curve with a male body. So shoulders nice and square. You as the photographer should get a little bit lower and shoot up. That also helps to keep the shoulders nice and broad and create that little bit of a V taper. With the hands or arms, I get them to do a few nice and relaxed, arms by the side, hands really nice and relaxed, arms crossed, and then again, a few of those kind of hand techniques. From standing, we can move into sitting. Now sitting helps if it's a little bit of an uneven ground so that they're sitting a little bit higher than where their feet are, like a curb. But some of the main things to look out for are just feet position, one leg kind of stretched out and one knee bent up, works really well, both knees bent. And just getting them to relax their arms, lean into their knees, hands nice and relaxed, creates that really nice laid back, relaxed vibe. Often with male photography, particularly if you're shooting kind of streetwear, you want to create a bit of an attitude. And this is one pose that can really help create that attitude if shot right. Going in to the last of the poses I want to share with you guys, and that is creating movement. Now we've already created some movement through the walking, but particularly if you're shooting fashion photography, creating movement can be really powerful. And working with the garments is a really easy way to do that. So for example, if there's a jacket that you're shooting, get them to take it off, put it back on. I wouldn't recommend focusing on the camera lens for the model at that time. They can be looking away, they can be looking at the garment themselves. Get them to take it on and off a few times and keep snapping away. You'll catch some mid movement shots that are really powerful and really effective. The same with a hoodie. You can get them to put a hood on and off, a zipper. Make sure they do it at a natural pace. Don't get them to slow it down because I find that when it's slowed down and they're really slowly doing up a zipper or 
putting on a hoodie. The garment doesn't move correctly and also they can look really posed and tense. So these are the five poses that I'd use throughout all my male photo shoots. I find that if I work with each pose in a number of angles and different compositions showing the location, I get a really nice set of images and that be whether I'm again shooting portrait or fashion photography. So if you got a little something out of this video, picked up a few little tips, help me out with a like, a subscribe and as always, thank you for pressing play.